Okay. So, changing out the gear shift spindle on this 2018 CVR 300R. Um, what we're going to do to attack this, I already got the fairings off. There's videos on YouTube that you could check. Just make sure you don't crack anything because these are different kind of tabs. It's not the rubber grommets. What we're going to do is get the radiator uh, drained out because it is attached to the case. And then we're going to pull all the oil, get all the fluids out of it. And then once we got that handled, we're going to, end, we're going to start disassembling the case from there. <clears throat> Alright guys, I'm drawing this on the floor right now, just so I can see, just on a piece of plastic, one day we'll be doing this on the bench, as long as I'll stick with me, okay, so I'm just marking every screw, so I know where everything goes, when I go to put it back together, I don't want to have different lengths going to different areas, and then now I'm not getting a proper seat, Whatever. Alright, so now let's start breaking the bead on this. I believe I could keep these screws for the filter in. Let me see, I'll pull one out right now. on it, all four of them first, rather than, you know, completely.
And a good thing I got a new gasket. I ripped that one. Alright. So, this is what I gotta get off here, but first I have to take off my clutch. So now, let me make a space. Ah, oh, shit, I was able to keep the oil thing in there. Come across, you don't know how to fix, man. You'll you'll work with anyone. You'll be happy to hear from anyone. It's actually a 10 mil, so we're just gonna get these cranked off in a star pattern. Some people say you don't have to do it in a star pattern because springs or something like that, but we don't believe it. I know they're, they don't need to be in specific spots because they're all the same length, but it still makes me nervous. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is mark, just because I can, you'll never see this. So this is gonna be number one right here. gotta buy a whole new engine because that's how engines man you if you do something wrong you could if i do something wrong right here look at all these gears bro the whole thing's done So now I have to get this off right here and I gotta bend up this secure pin. Oh, you know what? I probably don't even have the right. All right, guys, my bad. I'm not starting off at the right time. I kind of went ahead. So we have, we still have the clutch plates zip tied up. We have the springs out. What I'm doing right here is cause we're about to get this centerpiece out. Um, we're just zip tying it up so we have something to hold it. I don't have the actual tool I saw some people do it this way and you also want to know right where the keyhole is There's gonna be like a ring that's they they bent inward So you're not gonna be able to get it out So you got to take you know a really thin flathead or some kind of pick under there to lift it up to make sure it's gonna clear the keyhole So the issue here is even if I was supposed to put it in gear or, or put it in neutral or whatever, I can't because it's it's stuck in third gear either way. So we're gonna have to slowly proceed. I kinda wanna heat it up, but then I'm gonna melt those zip ties, so never mind.
I'm not worried about getting a good camera shot right now, man. I'm just trying to get this to work. I think we got it. I think we got it, boys. Oh, let's see. I thought I felt it give. in mind the the bevel was out so it's taller on one side on this outside a smaller diameter on this inside the smaller diameter was facing inward This just comes right out. Awesome. And boom. You can see exactly right there what your issue is. So this is a little peeled in. This one's bent out pretty messed up so when I can I'll show you guys what the old one's supposed to look like so you can pretty clearly see here's the good one here's the bad one good bad and look at that that right there is super bent out to the right the one on the left and just that one's more like pushed in rather than you know but yeah Prime example right there. So now we're gonna figure out how to get the... That's a new spindle. Here's the old one. So standard washer was the last thing. Then we have the C-clip here. Wow, oh, those suck. I'm gonna have to get that off right now. Um, and then we're gonna have to figure out how to get the spring off and it'll be all nice. All right, guys. So I'm actually not gonna show you what to do Right here with this C-clip, you just got to get these two tabs and pull them away from each other to get it out because it's inside of a rivet right here. And uh, I'm going to get that off and then get these these two springs off. Put the new the old hardware on the new spindle and go from there and then I'll start the video. We have the new spindle with the new hardware. Got the spring, the clip, the O-ring. clutch components over here put our basket back on 
and I actually re have the marking still where it, it was so I'm, that's where I'm going to put it right back So let's help it out a little bit. Take these off. Actually, we gotta put this back on. And it was thinner goes in. This goes here. Alright now. Let's get the uh, more zip ties back on. So we can properly secure it. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys something. All right. So you're gonna see right here. All right, right there is a piece of like the ring right here. So there's a ring that goes around this whole bolt and it's actually used as security. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is take this tiny little flathead and bang down right here so that if this bolt ever wants to spin counterclockwise or reverse itself off of the shaft, it can't because there will be the metal jammed up right there in that keyhole. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna do it for you. Take that, hammer.
was pretty easy to take them off. Shirts are coming up soon, perpetual in motion. But I don't need the comfort of any lies. I see the ending, and there's no ascending rise. Oh, back when I. Alright guys, sorry I couldn't get the video of me putting the thing back on. So what I had done wrong is essentially the stud or, you know, the rod. Essentially it's the rod that, you know, your clutch cable attaches to. I put that on after I put the um, clutch housing on. And I was supposed to put it before so it sits under and spreads open the clutch plates for me. So I was having too much space. Um, it was sticking out too far and obviously it wasn't going to work properly. So after about two hours of studying and looking at the videos uh, that I already took and seeing what I did wrong, I was able to figure out what I had done in an improper order. But now everything's all good. I just put it back on before I put some oil in there. I wanted to make sure that the clutch is working properly. So we are in gear and okay. Clutch opens right up, sick. We're shifting. Let's see if we can shift into neutral. Okay, that's neutral. That's in gear, awesome. Let's get two seated for now.
well, that's it for the CBR 300. If you found this video educational, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you so much. Unlike me, you're going to want to remember to put the clutch push rod into the basket before you put the clutch cover plate on with all of the screws and springs. And that's where I did it. So as you can see, that rod right there in the upright corner picture is supposed to go on before the clutch cover plate. And I actually went on to try and install the whole cover and it wouldn't seat properly. So what you're going to go ahead and see is just a time lapse of me prepping the surface, getting it ready to put the cover on when I discovered it wouldn't fit anymore. Next thing I did is I put the rod where it went and then installed the case and then we continue to filling up the bike, making sure everything goes perfectly.